Had you ever driven a, a Lamborghini prior to starting this film? Uh, I have. I've driven, you know, I have a couple of friends who have them and uh, I drove, I've driven a couple of them and, and uh, I'm not a big sports guy, uh, sports car guy. So, so uh, I've never really wanted to have one of them. How did you feel getting behind the wheel of one though? Did you feel any sense of power? You, you know, I just just I have a new sense of um, appreciation for it now, understanding how and why it was built. What was the most surprising thing that you learned about the man and his journey while prepping for this role? The, the most uh, surprising thing to me, and I've said it before, was that how wealthy he was prior to starting the car company. And he had started uh, at a very young age. He had started a tractor company. He built these amazing tractors and had become so successful uh, that he owned like seven or eight. He had a Lamborghini for each day of the week. That's that's what he used to say. And uh, and he had a very successful heating and air conditioning company. So he was quite uh, a famous industrialist in, in uh, Italy before he had the idea to start a car company. That was surprising to me as well. I, I didn't I never would have associated tractors with Lamborghini. You know what I mean? Never yep. in a million years with that had ever, ever crossed my mind. So that's a good point. Um, so as an Italian American, how important was it for you to represent his legacy with your performance? Yeah, I mean, it was everything. Um, you know, uh, I, I feel like I've come full circle. My, I come from immigrant people. They come from Italy and, and uh, you know, they, they were they're dirt poor. And they were uneducated and they came to America to find a better life. And and uh, and then I'm back in Italy making a movie about an amazing Italian icon in one generation. <laughs> and so it was a real it was a real existential experience for me. And, and uh, I, I kind of wish my parents were, were alive to see it because I think they would not not so much that they would need to be proud of me, but proud of being Italian. It's right? important to keep keep that type of thing alive and to keep representing your people. You know what I mean? I, I, you know, and they are my people. And when I went home, I I, I got a real, I, I it, it struck me in a way I wasn't expecting. And I really fell in love with my culture and who I am. And, you know, when you, sometimes when you come here, when you're, when your parents and grandparents come here as immigrants, you try to shy away from where you came because you want to be American, you know, and, and my family was no different. And it was really beautiful to kind of go back and love being Italian, you know, if that I makes do. sense. Yeah, it does. It makes a lot of sense. And I totally understand it. I do real quick before we get up out of here, which did you enjoy more being part of the MCU or portraying Lamborghini? I love I love being part of the Marvel world, but but Lamborghini. It, this this for me has uh, this is uh, it's it's made my career uh, an entirely different thing for me. So I I loved doing this, and I, hopefully there will be other people out there that will hire me to do things like this uh, more. Oh Frank, I don't think you're gonna have any problem getting hired to do anything else. <laughs> Thank <life>. you. <laughs> but that is my time. Thank you so much for talking to me today. I really appreciate it. Thank you. All right, <laughs> bye now. Bye.